walking here. It's pretty late, but still decent enough time to find something that I like. I mean, again, I'm gonna look for denim shorts because I want denim shorts, and I still have my 30% off discount for a garage, so I may consider looking at some denim shorts. I don't know, like, depends, I don't know. I don't even remember how much I have with me, so I'm not positive if I'm going to get them or not, but I'm looking at maybe some more dark blue ones, denim shorts that maybe have like a little bit of rips in them, I'm not sure, but we'll see. I just got more ATM money at the front of the mall, and I'm gonna walk now. My first destination, as always, is gonna be Garage, and then Ardeen's, and then probably, may actually, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to Bath and Body Works again this time. I don't know, but we'll see how much money I have, how my finances are, and then, yeah, I'm not sure what else is gonna go on. Probably just come here and then film the haul. Normally, nothing different. Don't know if maybe the change at all. Pretty much everything is the same because you guys never recommend anything, so that's how it's gonna be. Oh my god, so I'm in here and there's so much shit in sale and they moved the sale section somewhere else in the store just because there's so much. Like literally this red top that I see here every time is on sale finally, so I'm probably gonna get it now. And this just plain black top that it looks like really cropped that I might just get a size up is like $10 now. So like this is really awesome. So I'm probably gonna get maybe at least one thing in here unless I wanna save money for when I go to Bath and Body Works. I don't really know yet. Decisions. Garage, because that shirt I saw on sale, the red one with the stripes, it was on sale, but it, I know that it will go on sale cheaper really soon. So I just kind of decided not to get anything. So I might go back though, I don't know. I'm going into Ardeen's now though. I just wanted to Ardeen's after that and I got some really cute stuff and I'm glad. So now I'm going into the Senza and I'm obviously gonna find stuff there because, oh my God, I'm seeing a sign right now and there's a bigger sale. So underwear is actually $2 now. Oh my God, I have to go in. Okay, so I just left Sephora and I got some really cute finds. So that's, I don't know, that's cool. So I'm going into Bath and Body Works now because I'm gonna find some stuff in there, of course. I'm kind of gearing towards body wash, even though I never run out of body wash. I still have like, cause I get bored of scents. So I have like three things of body wash that have like a quarter left in them up in uh, my closet somewhere or in bathroom storage. So I never run out, but I, I am interested in finding something new. Just went into Bath and Body Works after and I got a bunch of stuff. Like, I was in there smelling hand soaps for so long. Like, I was like, when I came in, I was asked what I was looking for. And I said body wash. And then I got body wash. Like, I got a bunch of body washes and even more hand soaps. Oh my god, I got so many. Because they were like, they were on sale as well. But it was amazing, honestly. Like, I was smelling so many. I had to make sure that I didn't have any doubles. Because I did, in fact, probably have doubles. And then I did end up having doubles because I had... Um, a soap that was just like a liquid soap and it had beads and then another soap that was like a foaming hand soap so yeah it, it worked out pretty well honestly like I, my total came to like a bit of a high number and then I was like okay I'm gonna put those two things back and that's just kind of how it went but I still was able to get a bunch of stuff so it was a pretty successful trip. Outside, it's actually quite warm and I can it's like it's humid it's like not windy, but I do feel slight bits of air hitting my arms and legs, and it's a bit warm. So it's it's almost like a warm wind. So it's humid right now, and I, I do enjoy it. I'm not sticky and not sweaty. I talk about this weather often, and I really wish it would stay like just this exact perfect weather. I, I need it to stay. It's perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold, but enough to just sit outside like this in a t-shirt and the shorts I'm wearing. So overall, the weather was great and the trip was great. So we're gonna go to the hall when I get home. So obviously I'm here showing everything that I got and I got a lot of stuff this time and I need to mention that I think it was last two hauls ago so not the last haul but the one before that I also got stuff at garage and I forgot to show it because honestly I had a lot of bags and in my room here I had just my it was a mess in here and it still is but obviously the camera covers that but it was a mess in here and I wasn't able to like just one of the bags kind of got hidden and I forgot about it. So I got this basic relaxed tea from garage two hauls ago. It's very soft and I don't know, they always have them there and I always like kind of forget about them, but it's like, 
cotton or like just this really silky material. If there's an extra tag in here, I can see what it's made of. Uh, oh, oh, it's not cotton. Okay, 65% polyester, 35% ran, but it's very soft and I'm actually gonna see what it fits like. And it was pretty sheer when I tried it on in the dressing room, even though it's black, but I still loved it very much when I tried it on, even though it was like oversized. Hey, so this is very comfortable and it's doing like where it's slightly longer in the back and there's like this little almost like a triangle shape here where it kind of goes like that and where it covers behind more and then it's more like shorter in the front lower in the back sort of thing and I found this very comfortable and it is a bit sheer but you can't really tell on camera luckily as it's been doing that a lot lately with some of the tops that I've tried on but it's very well it's not tight fitting it's loose um it's not it's kind of is it v-neck no it's circle neck circle neck i've never heard that expression maybe i made it up i don't know but it's fine honestly i've had i have no issues with it very comfortable it doesn't stick to me as i'm rather hot right now and i'm sort of sweating it's it's fine and i, I like it very much so i have no issues with it so oh, next I've got the Bath and Body Works bag, which mind you is very large, as I did mention in the store. Um, or while I was walking around, I got a lot of soaps. Like I was probably there for about, in the store for maybe 20 minutes, just smelling a million soaps. When I got to the checkout, I probably had 10 soaps. And then now, no, uh, with how many I have now, I think I had eight soaps. Yeah, eight soaps, like hand soaps and now I have less, but I'm gonna start here. This one is Lavender Marsh... Ma I almost said Marshmallow, seeing as it says Marsh and then Mellow under it, but Lavender Marshmallow, and there was a smell, or a scent, I should say, that smelled a lot like this. It was the blueberry pie or blueberry crumble pie or something like that. I'm pretty sure that means the same thing, but that smelled pretty similar, and it does smell quite like it and it kind of smells like that tiki shore hand sanitizer i got last time i went to bath and body works if you guys remember that and i did i was able to recognize the analogy that i was getting from that hand sanitizer it smelled like strawberry milk that was what i was remembering okay but i, I love this so much honestly i mean i like the lavender it smells more like marshmallow rather than lavender like it overpowers it almost I don't know why, maybe seeing as marshmallow is just like chemical and then lavender is like a plant, which maybe is a weaker scent because it's natural, I don't know. Um, Tiki Shore, I actually got the Tiki Shore hand soap and this one isn't foaming. This one's foaming, so it comes out as foam. Okay, and this one's for more of a deep clean, I was told, because it just comes out as liquid and it's got these little scrubbing beads here. I thought they were either bubbles or beads. I wasn't positive in the store, but I'm gonna smell it and yeah. Yeah, it smells just like the hand sanitizer and it, cause it's the same scent and it smells like strawberry milk. So there's this one called Eucalyptus Rain and I actually have an essential oil for a diffuser I own that is eucalyptus scented and it smells nothing like this. Like it smells terrible, I don't like it. Maybe because this is chemical and then the essential oil is like a natural, actual, like it's it's a plant oil while well, this is fake, but. I honestly felt like I had to buy it because I was getting deja vu of a scent that I could smell when I was a child. That's what a lot of these are in here. Like just, I remember the smell from somewhere and I have to get it because I recall it from years ago. But it does very much smell plant-like and I don't know, I just, I really like it. I can agree that it's gonna work nice. I don't know. I, I like it. it, all their soaps are really smooth that I've, I've been able to tell. Even the, uh, even the liquid soaps, not just the foaming soaps, these are pretty smooth. But uh, it does smell like plants because eucalyptus plant stuff, but it just, it's very soft. It smells like plants. I really like it. Mainly just smells like leaves or like a forest. Turquoise waters. Yes, this one I could recall somewhere in my life as well. So I'm gonna smell this one as I have with the other ones. 
Yep, so this one just smells like a really good smelling bathroom, seeing as there's soap in bathrooms. And I don't remember where I could smell it from, but I do remember the smell. I don't remember where it's from. I just remember the smell and it smells absolutely amazing. I can agree with it being called turquoise waters, honestly. Like, I'm getting, I'm not just getting water from it, like, I'm getting like maybe like a bubble bath or like some of that children's bubble bath stuff that has like some uh, some cartoon on the front that makes you want to buy it as a child. Well, not makes you want to ask your parents to buy it for you as a child because you don't have money probably. And it just, it smells like one of those that I can recall my parents buying for me as I was a child. So there's this one called Lakeside Afternoon. This one I really liked and it made me feel like I could have it in like a, like a boat Like it made me feel, made me think of summer. Like I feel like this is what it, a boat smells like. I've never been on a boat, except for the Maid of the Mist in Niagara Falls. And I did just drip on my leg. That's why I'm rubbing it in my, to my little, my fragile skin, my soft skin. Like I'm, I think I'm recalling like, maybe like it's a bar of soap. It smells like a bar of soap, but I feel like I'm getting more summer vibes from this rather than lakeside afternoon, which to me feels like more of an autumn scent. But mind you, this is sale, so they're gonna, it's all brought back stuff that didn't sell. So for the actual body washes, I was able to get three this time. I have this one, it's called Pink Lily and Bamboo. And I, a woman in the store like was like, hey, like, do you wanna smell? Cause I, I mentioned that I was in fact looking for body washes and I smelt it and I said that it smelled a lot like um, the Hello Beautiful scent. Yep, definitely. That's the vibes I'm getting from this. And I was glad that I got it because Hello Beautiful is a signature scent, meaning that it's not gonna go on sale like it's not gonna go away because so many people liked it and just became so popular along with like Japanese cherry blossom or uh, warm vanilla sugar, like all those like signature scents they call them, they're not gonna go away or they're not gonna sell out, I guess. I don't know, like they're not gonna stop making them or put them on sale unless they change the packaging. That's what I've been told before when I went there and asked if they were on sale when clearly they weren't because everyone loves them. But I'm definitely getting hello beautiful vibes from this it's definitely what i'm smelling and i'm still using that same exact body wash the hello beautiful one seeing as like for me i'm still like i'm still using it because i don't run out of it because i'm very frugal when it comes to body wash but then when it comes to shampoo and conditioner i use so much shampoo and conditioner but i, I love it so much honestly i'm probably going to use it right when my hello beautiful runs out i may even mix the two just kind of empty that into the bottle because i do i do like these bottles i've never seen this kind of bottle at bath and body works i've always seen these ones with the white cap and the silver or gold lid like this like i've never seen this i don't know but i think the size is different yeah, this one's 236 milliliters, and this one, in these bottles that you guys may recognize if you've been there, the 295 milliliter bottles. Yeah, so this one, I definitely, it's definitely larger, just slightly, I guess, I don't know. So there's this Grapefruit Breeze one that I smelled, and did not smell like grapefruit to me, but I did love the smell. Like I was getting more maybe like a mango or even just, it just smells like some sort of fruit juice that I don't remember what kind of juice, but like some kind of juice that's got like a mix, like passion fruit, mango, something, star fruit, dragon fruit, just some weird mix of juice. It also just smells like fruity gum, which I'm not a fan of. I really don't like fruity gum. I used to love it, but now I don't. Okay. I've got Beach Nights, which is also another marshmallow scent, Summer Marshmallow. I didn't even know that this was marshmallows. I thought these were crackers. I literally thought these were crackers or Triscuits when I was like looking at these. Please don't demonetize me. But I was literally just looking at them and where's my marshmallow scent? This is another marshmallow scent, but this one is like roasted marshmallow and this one is just like raw marshmallow. Raw marshmallow, I don't know. Undercooked or uncooked, but this one is cooked. So that's why it's called Beach Night. It's like a summer marshmallow because you're roasting it. But I love it so much, honestly. I'm gonna smell it again just because. 
This one also smells like Tiki Shore. I don't get it why Tiki Shore smells like marshmallow, but I love this very much. And I actually, I like this more than this marshmallow scent, the lavender marshmallow. They both smell pretty similar, but I do like the body wash one more. There was also this scent in there. It was like turquoise. It was a lotion and there was like an orange starfish on it. I don't recall what it was, but it smelled amazing. And it was a lotion and it really sucked. There was a try me left for the body wash. Only one. I was digging in these bins for a body wash in the scent and I just couldn't find one. It sucked. And of course I asked. It was like, oh, excuse me. Are you guys allowed to sell um, the testers? And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh, shit. That kind of sucks. Like it was full and everything, but that's too bad. I haven't even tried the hand mask yet, but yet I got another one because they're on sale and the sale ends July 8th or 9th. I don't remember. I, I remember that I remember an associate telling me it was July 9th the last time that I came and not today, the time before. But on here, this coupon that I got, I tried to redeem the same one that I got last time for 20% off your entire purchase. And I was told that I can't use it until the sale is off because the sale's done July 8th. So maybe it really is done July 8th because that's when they're getting all new stock. But yeah, so now I have two of these to use, but you can only use one on every purchase more than likely. I've never seen a place allow you to use multiple, but hopefully I, like honestly, I could just cheat the system and then like buy half my stuff at once and use a coupon and then buy half my stuff after the other half and then use the other coupon. But depending on if there's a long line, I probably wouldn't want to do that to the employees and I wouldn't want to wait in a long line that long. Like if it's long, I wouldn't want to go to the back of the line to get the rest of my stuff when I just want to leave, especially seeing as it's one of the last stores that I go to most of the time. Normally Sephora is the last, but like if I went to Bath and Body Works, if within my time frame, if I had time to go to Bath and Body Works, I'd probably be my last store. But this is the hand mask and I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm excited to honestly i don't think that it's gonna affect my skin i don't have really sensitive skin i don't get burns or rashes or itches from anything so that's good i also forgot to mention that um two hauls ago i also went to the dollar store and of course i just got chocolates so i just got a mint arrow and then yellow yellow yeah yellow peanut m ms i got peanut m ms and then a mint Arrow bar just felt the need to share that and I dropped it on the floor and I probably broke them the chocolate but that's fine I was gonna break it anyway okay so that was a very large Bath and Body Works haul so from Lucenza I have this really I have this really cute I, I've seen stuff like this before there's so much but this like blue bra it's got like regular lace I have a bra just like it but black and it's like bright blue on the screen but in like reality like where I am right now it's actually like darker but it's still nice I keep seeing this underwear there every time I go there I keep seeing Canadian themed underwear because it's Canada Day coming up soon which means my birthday is also coming up very soon as well but it's not on sale but I still wanted to buy it because I didn't want to wait for that to go on sale and then get it when it's not even Canada Day or around even that season or even July anymore. So I just wanted to get it for that. So then I also keep seeing underwear there that has like a gold stripe, like glitter. And I feel like the glitter is gonna wear off in the laundry, but like it's got palm lace on it. So I just thought to get it as well. I also got um, this pair of underwear. I haven't seen it there at all. This is my first time seeing it. I haven't even been eyeing it. It just says alpha female on it and it's like a peach color, maybe like beige. And I just thought it was cute. Then just like this seamless pair of burgundy, maybe burgundy, well, like this berry colored underwear. It just kind of looks like this and can't even hold it right, but it's just seamless, really basic. And I just thought it was cute. So I just kind of got it. Okay, from Ardeen's, as I've really needed, I've gotten um, this pair of denim shorts here. It's basic shorts they look kind of they looked kind of i don't know they didn't look weird but just they looked like really basic and then when i tried them on and wore them with my shirt i liked them and they were fine i'm not going to try them on because i don't really need to seeing as they fit the same way as the ones i'm wearing now because they're the same size and if you guys remember the haul when i got these they're just literally the same and just different colors maybe a little bit different structure but they're still pretty similar to me I got another pair and I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, why'd you get another pair? But their denim is kind of like cutesy. Like 
honestly, it was either this or th one just like this with these like little like not lace but like uh little like white flower details all over here and that just kind of gave me like a vision of what i would wear when i was 11 so i was like no i'm just gonna get these nice regular ones and put all the attention on the top that i'm wearing so last but not least for the ardeans bag and actually the entire haul I've really needed a plain pair of black pants, like these baggy ones that are sort of capri. So I tried on my smaller size and then my larger size, and then I went with my smaller size because I felt like they were a bit different. Like they were on different kinds of hangers for some reason. They were both clip hangers, but one was bigger. And I was like, are these two different pants? And then I liked the smaller ones more. And I realized that one time when I got these big baggy dress pants that were just like this, they were actually a little bit off green like i don't know where they are right now i can't find them but they looked they were not actually like a the actual black like i don't remember which video it was in it was a long time ago but i got pants just like these and they were actually more starchy and they ended up being a really like a light green and i was like oh i just didn't notice in store or even when i was recording the haul so luckily i was able to get these black ones now before they get rid of them and unfortunately they don't have like the nice tie on belt but it will go well with some of the striped tops and floral off shoulder tops that i got last time so that should work well okay so i just took that short little break there because my phone was ringing so Okay, thank you so much for watching this haul, this very large haul, and now I have a huge mess to clean up and lots of clothes to hang and go through everything and make sure that all my stuff is correct and I didn't get extra charges for anything so I don't have to go back, even though I am going to go back to the mall very soon as I normally do, probably for my birthday. But obviously, thank you so much for watching this haul and obviously I'll see you in the next one as I will probably never stop doing these in the next year, so thank you so much. Play the music.